TE Connectivity welcomes you to Crimp Theory Fundamentals. At TE, we have been producing terminals and tooling to apply terminals for over 70 years. We know how to crimp a terminal to a wire. Our years of experience have shown that quality terminations cannot be produced without understanding what goes into making a good crimp. The untrained eye tends to oversimplify the crimping process. It is not as simple as pinching the terminal onto the end of a wire. The shape of the crimp and the amount of pressure applied must be correct in order to obtain the desired performance and durability of the connection. Improper crimps can generate heat due to a poor electrical connection and may result in rework of product, increased scrap, and in extreme cases, catastrophic failure. In this video, we will present the importance of making a quality termination and demonstrate the proper crimp termination process. You will build the knowledge and confidence to determine when a terminal has been applied correctly. Quality terminations are created using a systems approach consisting of training, wire, terminal, tooling, documentation, and inspection. Overlooking any of these important process characteristics degrades the quality of the termination. The first component of a quality termination is quality trained personnel. You can use the best quality terminal, wire, and tooling, but if these components are not applied properly by someone trained to use the right tooling, as specified in the documentation, the resulting termination will not be a quality connection. Your personnel must pay close attention to each of the six quality termination components as part of their training. Multiple training courses are available through TE. The second component of a quality termination is the wire. To create a quality connection, the wire must be the correct size, type, and must be prepared correctly. The selected size of the wire is usually based on the expected power requirements. There are two common methods of identifying wire size, American wire gauge, abbreviated as AWG, and metric, which is measured in millimeters squared. The AWG numbering system is a retrograde measurement system. As the diameter of the wire gets smaller, the AWG number grows larger. The metric system of measurement represents the area of the conductor, and the value grows proportionately larger as the wire diameter increases. When selecting a terminal, you must take into account the thickness of the insulation. The insulation thickness can vary for a particular size of conductor due to application criteria such as voltage, temperature, or environmental requirements. The terminal insulation support must be appropriate for the outside diameter of the selected wire. Preparation of the wire for terminal application is an important step in helping to provide a quality termination. The insulation must be cut and removed cleanly. Improper stripping of the insulation can result in a poor termination. The insulation material should not be torn away or cut at an angle. The cut line should be clean and straight. The wire conductors should not be cut or scraped by the stripping process. Cut or nicked strands are not acceptable. The proper preparation, size, and type of the wire is critical to a successful termination. Keep this in mind as we move forward to look at the third component of a quality termination, the terminal. Terminals are available in many shapes and forms. Some common examples are open and closed barrel receptacle, ring tongue, tab, pin, and socket. When properly crimped, the wire barrel is rolled around the wire. All the individual wire strands are within the crimp barrel. All the wire strands are pressed tightly against one another with no cavities or spaces visible between them. An improper crimp can result from various reasons. Here, the crimp height is too high. And here, the wire is too small for the wire barrel. The insulation support crimper forms the terminal around the wire insulation, similar to the wire barrel crimp. When crimped, the insulation support should be snug but not so tight as to cut into the insulation. 
Now that you understand the wire and terminal components of the process, we'll explore the importance of selecting the correct tooling, the fourth component of a quality termination. Using the proper tool is a key component to achieving a successful termination. TE offers a variety of tools that can be used to apply the terminal to the wire. Manual hand tools are suitable for producing small quantities and prototype work. Powered hand tools provide the capability to produce in higher volumes and to apply higher pressures required for large terminals. TE offers a variety of applicators for use with terminating machines. Terminals in strip form and mounted on a reel are required with this tool. The product is automatically fed into the crimping position by the applicator. The terminating machine can be either a benchtop semi-automatic machine or a fully automatic lead making machine. A fully automatic lead maker from TE offers increased production rates and accuracy over manual alternatives. It will feed the wire to the desired length, strip both ends, position the wire and terminal, complete the crimping process, and stack the finished leads. Correctly matching the TE tooling and product to fit your application will help to assure a successful result. Next, we'll review the fifth component of quality terminations, the documentation requirements. At TE, an applicator log sheet is shipped with each applicator. It contains an exploded view, parts list, and other information specific to the applicator. The log sheet provides key information about the applicator, such as the correct crimp height for each wire size, the insulation range, the wire strip length, and the part numbers of the terminals that can be processed with the applicator. Using this information helps assure that the tooling and terminals are compatible to create a quality crimp. TE Instruction Sheet contains instructions that explain how to measure the terminal crimp height, the use of go, no-go gauges, and other measurement techniques. The applicator instruction sheet provided with each new applicator contains instructions about how to properly set up, adjust, and use the applicator. The terminal application specification contains information about how to apply the terminal. Important information such as the inspection of the finished crimp including strip length, wire size, and the recommended tooling is indicated. Let's look at the final component of a quality termination, inspection. The terminal application specification will contain information about the correct wire strip length and placement of the wire. When examining the finished crimp, first check for any damage to the terminal or the conductor as a result of the crimping process. Note any deformation such as bending, twisting or crushing of any part of the terminal. The quality parameters can be found in the corresponding application specification. When inspecting the finished crimp, check the different facets of the termination to confirm that the crimp meets all of the visual requirements. The crimp height is a decisive quality characteristic of a crimp connection. It permits non-destructive testing and allows for continuous manufacturing control. TE has performed tests that show if a terminal is crimped to the specified crimp height with the correct tooling, and the wire is the correct size for the selected terminal. Then the electrical and mechanical performance will be within the required range. In order to assess the crimp quality achieved with the crimp tool, it is recommended to take micrographic cross-sections across the conductor crimp. The micrographic cross-section should be presented in a suitable magnification and be assessed according to TE specification. To review, a quality termination is made up of several components. Quality trained personnel. You've started your journey in quality training by watching this video. The wire, which must be the correct size and type and must be prepared correctly. The terminal, selected to have the needed features to accept the wire and wire insulation. The tooling, which must be designed specifically to accept the terminal. Documentation must be used to determine the measurements and parameters that the finished crimp requires. And finally, the connection must be inspected carefully to confirm it meets specifications. When all aspects of the crimping process are addressed properly, the end result will be a reliable, quality termination that will perform to specifications.
For additional information, please contact your local TE Connectivity representative at www.tooling.te.com contact.